success. Well, it's not anywhere near to being automated because it's very specific to the image that you're looking at, but I can do it now. Count Lego bricks. So, so the final uh, script that I'm using to do this is called Count Bricks. And let me tell you what it does. I do finally understand what my friend Adrian was trying to say. So parse the arguments, find the image, load it, resize it to 600, 400, convert it to grayscale, and then use the threshold function. I will tell you at this point that the threshold function um, that I've been using, um, I've been putting in different values for the uh, threshold of the grayscale image, and I'm somewhere between 90 and 135 that I have been playing with. And um, I also changed the parameter passed to be thresh binary as opposed to thresh binary inverse. Thresh binary inverse uh, makes all the colors um, opposite and I didn't need that. I needed it to be the same. Um, meaning all the colors meaning black and white. And here um, what I'm doing is I'm trying to remove some noise using erosions and dilations. So erosions will get rid of specks if they're tiny and dilations um, will sort of restore the erosion that you did after the specks have been removed. So, and then um, that uh, image is what I'm sending in to the find contours. So let's take a look at what that looks like. You've seen this image several times. I'm going to do the, the simpler image, the one that has all of the blocks separated. So you and I looking at this, we'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, okay? Converted to gray, still 11. Here, I used the thresh of 90. Oh, it says 135. Let me just check and see what we got here. Uh, yeah, maybe that was 135. And then maybe I went to 90 after. That's thresh 135 inverted. And then... Oh, I'm using the wrong, the wrong script, sorry. See the noise? Okay, so it's, it's bringing back, I, I have it printing out what it's finding in the arrays. So it's really not finding anything, as it would be showing us here. And we would see little purple specks showing up. I see some purple specks here. So all this noise here is showing up here. So this this is a long script that I'm running. I apologize. Da, 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 da. And so you see finally some of this purple is starting to show up. Just see what you're seeing. Okay. I don't know how well you can see that. There's a purple there that just showed up. So the only ones that I'm hoping will show up are the actual brick outlines. But again, all this noise is causing us some trouble. So this one showed up as a single unit. That one gives me some trouble in some other um, runs. So I'm just pointing that out. See all these little specks here? I'll bring the camera closer once it tells us how many it's found. So 
and just finding it along this line. So I totally need a more perfect background, a less flawed background. How about that? We see that. Close to there. <laughs> oh. And then it went away. Ah. Okay. Well, never mind. Now let's find the right one. We want uh, objects, count bricks. So this is the more focused image. See, okay. This is gray with Thrash 90. This is eroded. So I took the threshed image and I added an eroded function and see all of this noise went away because those are just specs. And this is it dilated again. So it was eroded thinner, dilated thicker. Here we are in the contours, the first one outlined, second one outlined, third, fourth. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Found eleven objects. Yay! That would be great if only it were automated. But I had to do so much tweaking to make this work. And I am just going to show you the um, image. I'll get a little closer to the image. There we go. Found 11 objects. And this one, note, it only found this part, not the whole thing. So definitely flawed.